I'm Captain Mike. We've got Captain Carlos up on the bow, Chris O'Neill up on the bow with Carlos, and we are dropping down for Goliath Grouper over here inside Boca Grande. Just really, really awesome fishery. There's a lot of exciting fisheries in Charlotte Harbor in this whole region, redfish, snook, trout, tarpon are everywhere but there's something really special about this Goliath fishing. These fish will range from 40 to 400 pounds. Can you imagine a 400 pound grouper in 25 feet of water? But I'll tell you what, they live right here on these old phosphate docks. And they just cruise around this old weather dock system that was built way back in the 1800s. Ships used to come in here, load up with phosphate, and then they used to uh, transport it from here. You drop a bait to the bottom, 600 pound test, locked up and just hold on for dear life. Let it down. Let him eat it, let him eat it, let him eat it. Don't raise your rod tip. Oh, I didn't, I didn't. Okay, okay. I didn't. Just leave it there. I think the bait's gone. Okay, you got swiped? Yeah. Let's get clean? Yeah, it feels like it came right off. I think we need a bigger hook. You think we need a bigger hook? 20 out. Now you always hook them the same way, Chris, right under that lip right there? Well, we were tail hooking them before. And when, when do you, uh, you know... When, when they get aggressive, that? I like to do it like this. Okay. Simply there, because... Does current matter at all? Like, it does. Yeah. It absolutely does yeah. matter. The, the yeah. direction the fish are going to be facing. They're right. always facing the current, so... Yeah. All right, I'm going to get you right back up in the honey hole again. Drop that mullet right to the bottom and feed it to one of them. Didn't take long. Now we're fishing, as you can see, really, really heavy tackle. I mean, excessively heavy tackle. 600 pound test. Leader material is all the way up to a thousand pound test, 20 O hooks, but there's a reason for that. These fish are fully protected. You don't want to exhaust them. You know, you want to just get in there, gorilla battle them, fight it out real quick, tug of war, get them to the top and release them as quickly as possible. And you need this heavy gear. Now you can see what's happening here is Carlos has his bait right on the bottom. Chris is right next to him, just getting ready to give him the assist because again, you hook one of these super slobs and it's more than a one-man job. There he is, leave it down. Back up, back up. Put it in reverse, just go straight back. You got him, you got him. Let him eat it, let him eat it. He ate it, dude. I know, I know. Yeah, we got it, it. let him. Are you kidding me? He's on there, he's Ready? on there. Just go straight back, just go straight. Don't do anything, don't do it. Don't start reel. Okay. Let the boat reel. Okay. He's on there, he's on there, he's on there, he's on there, he's on there. <laughs> Hold on, Carlos, hold on. Where are you going? Come on up here, baby. <laughs> He's not walking right in there. Dude, I'm... You got him. Come on. Don't let him go in the junk. Don't let him go in the junk. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Real, 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 real. Up. Go, baby. You yeah. got him. Hold got him to the sky. Got him to the sky, baby. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Got him. Let's go real. Got him, baby. That's it. Woo. <laughs> Sorry. Another really cool thing about these Goliath grouper, and of course all of the divers, snorkelers, scuba divers will tell you this, that have stumbled upon these fish down, you know, on reefs and wrecks. They've got this ability to make this loud grunting noise, almost like a rumble, like a Goliath a rumble. And they use their air bladder to do that. And, you know, they're, they're very territorial. So a lot of guys believe they make that big grunting noise, that, that almost like a roar to kind of scare off you know, other intruders, other Goliaths that are trying to, you know, step on their property. And also that, that noise transmits through the water for a great distance. It's also believed that they communicate with that grunting noise as well. So just another awesome characteristic of this incredible fish that we're really fortunate to have down here in South Florida. There you go, pal. We'll see you later. Here's awesome. Awesome, dude. Great job. Dude, great job.